Welcome to this episode of Ask the Expert. Today it's all about micro joint machining or parts ejection via jutes and flaps. Because at Trumpf we believe in zero micro joints wherever possible. My name is Danko and I have been working for Trumpf for over 20 years in the field of punch and punch laser machines. Let's take a look at the True Punch 1000 to see how we can unload parts cleanly and without micro joints. Here we can see a typical nesting of parts. Many punching experts out there will already dispose the smaller parts through a jute or flap while leaving the bigger parts in a micro joint. At Trumpf we think it must be possible to avoid all micro joints as this requires rework after the punching process. Let's take a look. On the left side you can see the machine punching the nesting with micro joints. On the right side you can see the version without micro joints. The point is the punching itself is a bit faster on the nesting with micro joints but it requires rework afterwards. Whereas our example on the right is guided to the wooden pallet box. The operator on the left picture is manually breaking out the parts from the skeleton and sometimes if you need a high cutting edge quality you will need further quality improvement steps. So all in all the zero micro joint version needs less time and operator involvement. The only difference between both strategies is that we use the so-called part flap to unload parts which is available on all Trump punching and punch laser machine in different sizes. We can use the flap for parts up to 4 by 600 mm and bigger and this way we are able to unload the majority of all parts punched on your machine. From my operator's point of view sheet metal processing without micro joints is the way to go. Since micro joints cause rework and decrease parts quality. Both things we don't want to have. I hope you enjoy it. This episode of Ask the Expert and I look forward to see you again next time. Or write us, we look forward to your feedback. Take it easy, your Danko.